Well, hey there. My hair just got in my face. Okay, let's start this vlog. Ding! Okay, so first of all, can I just say these shoes are awesome? Uh, I just got them for cross country and they're really bright and you can see them from a mile away and they are awesome. And um, the brand is Saucony and Payless Shoes o owns them, so my dad gets a discount on them, so we always get Saucony. But they're awesome shoes, and I just love the color. They're so much fun. And then yesterday, I also went shopping at Payless. I feel like I'm advertising for Payless, but oh well, feeds my family. <laughs> okay, and so I got these really cute yellow shoes. With like a little heel, it's so hard to find shoes that don't have heels that are like this big. And like, I'm a tall girl. I don't need big heels. So it's like the perfect size. And um, it has this cute little bow. And I don't have any yellow shoes, so. And then I guess my hipster side is coming out because I got these shoes. Which, I don't have any shoes like these at all. And um, they are very Urban Outfitters. And, I don't know. I'm ready to give them a try. I think they're interesting. So yeah. Okay, so going on to books. Um, I have read The Hunger Games. Actually, right now, I'm in the middle of reading Catching Fire. I'm about on page 57. And so, I just started. But I love The hum Hunger Games, mostly because of all the action and everything. So I'm not sure if I'm going to like Catching Fire as much. Because... I don't know, it seems like it doesn't have as much stuff going on other than like her inside dilemmas like of what to do and all this, I don't know. I mean, but then again I'm only on page 57 so I don't even know what's gonna happen. You could probably tell me but I don't want any spoilers. So a few months ago I had an addiction. An addiction for Stephen King books. Okay, I read so many. like. These are all the Stephen King books that I own, but I would also read like all of the ones that I could get my hands on in school. Um, like my favorite was probably um, The Shining, which is an amazing book, and the movie is an amazing, yeah it's all amazing, just awesome. I just love how Stephen King is able to put so much description into like every little thing, which is why a lot of people hate him, because his books are pretty big. I don't know. This is one of this isn't a really big book of his, but most of them are really big because he spends so much time describing every little detail. And when I'm reading a book, I look for descriptions. I love having that vivid like drawing in my mind of what's going on. And it just makes everything a lot more fun. So I'm probably going to read some more Stephen King books in the future, but I decided to take a little bit of a break from him. <laughs> no, I have not seen Pretty Little Liars. I'm really bad at keeping up with shows like that, because if there's a scheduled time when they all come on, like every Thursday or something, I'm just going to forget. I'm terrible about that. And so I try not to, like, get intertwined with um, shows that have a story, really, because I just never remember to watch them, and then I get disappointed that when I don't see them, see the new episodes. And so what I do instead is I wait until, like, they're a couple seasons ahead, and I get all of the, um, the, uh, um, episodes on DVD, and so I can just watch them in a line, and so it's like a really long movie, and I just find that a lot more fun. Like, I've just finished watching the Chuck series up to date, and so I'm waiting for their next season to come out on DVD, and I just find it a lot more fun to do it that way. So you never know, maybe I'll watch Pretty Little Liars when they come out on DVD. So I guess we'll see. So the last few videos I've done, I've um, made them here at my desk. I don't know, because the light is better, and you can see my beautiful face. Okay, but right in front of me I have this drawer. Um, like, I know how you said in your closet you had a place where you kept all, like, your memory things. Like, things from that you want to keep for when you're older. And I sort of have this here, and, and I call it my memory drawer. I'll just show it to you. 
I don't know, just have a bunch of stuff. Like, I have a bunch of CDs that my friends have made me for, like, my birthday and stuff. And then I've got, like, a bunch of notebooks up in here somewhere um, where my friends have, t we've, like, done notes and we passed them back and forth to each other in class. And then this is, let's see here. Oh, I can't get it. This is um, a masterwork where it's like the longest song we've done in choir and it was like a lot of fun and I really rem want to remember that. I got some 3D glasses in here. I've got little like things that I designed when I was like seven. <laughs> yeah. Um, see, I've got this little thing when I went to choir camp a few years ago. I've got my planner from junior high. I've got this South Park mug in here. Then I've got a bunch of things in this folder. Like here's a picture of a hot guy that one of my friends drew for me. I've got a bunch of pictures and cards that people have given me. I don't know, a bunch of just like inside jokes or just pictures that people have made for me. So yeah, it's just a lot of fun to look through here and remember things. In a couple months, I'll be going to this music festival called Can Roxas, and it's located in the um, NASCAR race track in Kansas City, and I am so excited. I've never been to a music festival, and I just made like my schedule of all the bands I'm going to go see yesterday. So it starts on Friday, August 5th, and I'll read out the bands. Like, There's too many on the schedule for me to remember, so I have to read them off. So on Friday, I'm going to go see The Joy Formidable, Fits in the Tantrum, D12, Jack's Mannequin, Arctic Monkeys, Ellie Golding, Cascade, The Flaming Lips, and Eminem. And then on Saturday, I'm going to go see Rival Sons, Gardens and Villa, OK Go, Curly, Cage the Elephant, Tiny Tempa, the Black Keys, and Muse. I am just so excited. I'm going to spend so much money on t-shirts. It's going to be ridiculous, and I can't wait. So this is kind of a sad thing to end on, but over the last couple um, months, I've had to spend every other day practicing the ACT. Uh, no, it's not fun at all. I'm not looking forward to taking it. Well, actually, I don't know. I'm excited to not have to study every day because it sucks. And most of it I already know, and I don't even... Ugh. But enough with that. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I can't wait to hear from you. Bye!